Hi, thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you're looking at this video, this is a video that I've been wanting to do for a very long time. I want to know are shotgun slugs waterproof, water resistant, or neither. And the reason I say that is because I love shotgun slugs. And for me, they're a go-to round when it comes to shotguns. So we're going to do a test and see if this Winchester, Remington, Federal, and the uh, Brennicke slugs, are they waterproof, water resistant, or neither. What I got over here is I got a bucket with some shells inside of it. At the bottom, I've had those in for 24 hours. The ones on top of the bags have been in there for 10 minutes. And then I have some inside of a bag um, which has water in it. And those have been in there for about an hour. Um, I'm also going to take another set of rounds and I'm going to drop them in the water for a few seconds. Pull them out and then fire them as well. And we're going to see if they go off. The purpose of these is just to see, like, say, for instance, you were hunting, you drop your round inside of a puddle or something like that, would that go off? The other one that's been in there for 10 minutes is if you're crossing a stream or something and your bag got wet and you happen to get to the other side and needed your rounds, would they work? The ones that have been in there for an hour, that's just, say, for instance, your boat, you know, sunk or something like that and you've been floating in the water until you made it to shore and you needed your round. So, will that work? And the 24-hour one is just to have a 24-hour experience you can come up with something for that yourself but thanks for tuning in and i hope you enjoy all right first up we're going to do a test just to show you that the firearm works i'm going to use the winchester going first off. we're going to go with the remington next Followed by the Federal. Oh, that one has some kick to it. <laughs> what about the Brinicky? Look at that one. So as you see, all the rounds went off. Shotgun works for all of them. Now, next, I'm gonna do the drop test for a couple of seconds with the Winchester first. Wet. Went off. Now we're gonna go with the Remington. Wet. Federal. I'm liking those Federals. Those things got some kick. Brennicky. What? Right. All of them went off. Right. Now let's see about the 10 minute one. Alright. So these are the Winchesters. Good. Got the Remington. Federals. Brinkies. So far, all those went off without a hitch. Nice. Shotgun's kind of wet, so good. <laughs> now we're going to go with the ones that's been in there for, let's see, it's been about 45 minutes. It hasn't been quite an hour yet. But we're going to go ahead and uh, fire these ones off. Actually, I'm going to try to get them out. Probably should have used something better than a plastic bag, but that was all I had at the time. So let's see, I'm going to some one. All right. Sorry about the delay. First up, it's going to be the Winchester again. Next up, it's a Remington.
Federal? That one gets me every time. Bernicky? All right, and now we're going with the ones that's been in there for 24 hours. Starting with the Winchester again. Remington? Federal? And the Brennicky. Oh, it didn't go off. Let's go find out what happened. All right, let's see. We got a primer strike on it. Let's try it again. Ah, nothing. Well, looks like this one didn't last for 24 hours. I'll cut it open and see, uh, I'll cut it open to see exactly what it looks like on the inside here. And I'll show you to you shortly. All right, so I got the burning key cut open. I haven't pulled it out yet, but, uh, has a bit of rust around the edges of it already and like I said it's only been in there for 24 hours um, see if I can get this slug out of here oh my gosh this thing is heavy oh good so the powder looks dry everything in it looks dry I don't know why it didn't go off let's see yeah, everything in there is dry we got good primer strike on it interesting very very interesting i don't know why maybe that was just a dead round so there you have it thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos